previously on Hell's Kitchen. It is black jacket time. At chef Facebook. Ramsay Three. devised three challenges. Give it everything you've got. Yes, sir. To determine which of the remaining rookies and veterans would receive a coveted black jacket. Y'all better back up. I'm coming for this jacket. In the first challenge, each chef selected ingredients at random. Get those black jackets, baby. Veteran Ariel's dish packed a punch. Ariel, congratulations. Along with rookie sensation. Mia. Yeah. Earning Maybe them admission to the exclusive Black Jacket Lounge. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> In the second challenge, the chefs had to spin. Whale, baby, leeks, eggplant, cauliflower. For the ingredients that they would all cook with. This dish sounds a nightmare. Great. A three Michelin star chef doesn't even know what the fuck to do with these ingredients. Veteran Heather stumbled. When you've got that lemon in there, it turns it bitter. Rookie mistake. Oh. While Rookie Kane served up a lackluster cauliflower puree. It looks gloopy. Why? Season 14 veteran Brett's dish dazzled Chef Ramsay. Bloody good effort. Thank you. Earning him the third black jacket. Hell yeah, yo. Damn, I look good in this coat. <laughs> and rookie motto was soon to follow. Ben Rouge in the house! Leaving one veteran and one rookie to fight for their lives in a final surf and turf challenge. Going down to the last round, I'm going to kill it, period. Nothing is stopping me from getting into that black jacket lounge. While Heather played it safe with a traditional surf and turf. Now that lobster's delicious, it's so soft. Kane went out on a limb. Have you ever cooked a dish like this before? Uh, no. The last black jacket goes to Heather. Yay! Landing Heather in the black jacket oh, lounge. Oh, don't look so fucking happy. Ariel looks like her dog died. And ending Kane's dream of becoming the executive chef at Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen restaurant at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Well, congratulations, dude. Yes, Thanks, guys. Holy fuck, like, don't make me feel wanted or anything. I'm ready to snap. These people are ridiculous. From here on out, I'm fucking gunning. I'm gunning for Mia, I'm gunning for Ariel, Brett, Motto. Nobody's safe at this point. Aw, here, has anybody hugged you? No. <laughs> Bite me, bitch. Yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah? What's up, homie? You all right, buddy? Yeah, yo. This means more to me than y'all could ever imagine. Yo. This is surreal, man. This is true blessing, true blessing. You know, growing up in the neighborhood I lived in, I became a product of it. So, man, never in a million years would I have ever thought that I'd be here right now. Life shit and change, you know? You know, when I was 20 years old, I was a product of my environment. So imagine sitting in a courtroom and the judge tells you, oh, Mr. Hauser, you're looking at 30 years in prison. Oh, my God. At 20 years old. To be out here, have the opportunity to cook next to and for Chef Ramsay, all because of food, yo. Food, man. Food. So this means the world to me, and I ain't gonna stop, man. And I just try and take it one day at a time. You know, I got a beautiful daughter. I got a woman that I, I truly, like, am in love with. So it's all right. You sentimental guy. It's good, yeah. Not even hungry. Yeah, me either. I'm not eating today. Good morning, chefs. Good morning. Good morning. Oh gosh, what is this? Yeah. Chef Ramsay has made you some breakfast. Holy cow! Oh, Black Jack is getting VIP treatment. Is this real right now? It is. Yo, man, breakfast in the dorm. Wow, wow. Welcome to Black Jackets. Hey, yeah. wow. Enjoy. We'll see you in a bit. 
Man, we got a uh, spicy tomato dish with some baked eggs on top. There's an Eggs Benedict up there. Eggs are ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a beautiful spread of perfectly executed breakfast. I wonder what he so does what? to the eggs. I don't know. Look at them, though, right? Yeah. Although it's been quite lovely this morning. Peppers, onions. I'm pretty sure that I need to pay attention. So I've mentally logged all the dishes in presentation because everything happens for a reason here in Hell's Kitchen. Did you get a mental note of all of this? I think so. Did you notice that it's two different types of yeah, veggies? Yeah, one was ham. I didn't see the other one. Did they both have bacon on top of them? I think it's prosciutto. This is Mia. Good morning, Black Jacket Brigade. I need to see everybody down through the blue kitchen in the dining room urgently, please. Heard that, Chef. Thank you. Blue kitchen, everyone. It's nice to have family meal and all that kind of stuff, but you have to be on your toes in Hell's Kitchen, man. I have 12 toes, and that's not enough to, to keep me up around here all the time. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Chef. Chef. Heather, that was a close one. Yeah, too close. You're absolutely right. You've been in this situation before. What's different now to last time? Uh, well, I don't remember getting breakfast, so thank you, Chef. So Wonderful, cool. Thank you so much, thank Chef. You. Great. Mia, did you get a chance to dig in and eat everything? Yes, Chef. I always like a runny egg with bread. Good. Motto, bread, did you taste all those dishes? Uh, I did. Yes, Chef. That's good to hear, because right now, it's the challenge that separates the chefs from the cooks. That's right. It's taste it, now make it. Oh, shit. I was just eating. I wasn't thinking we're going to have to make it. You know, I've got A, D, 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 as it is, so I'll do the best I can. Christina, please. Good morning, chefs. Good morning. Good morning. That stunning Good morning. Eggs Benedict is the breakfast dish that I'd like all five of you to recreate. The chef who is the most successful with the presentation and the taste wins the challenge. Your 30 minutes start now. The other four chefs just kind of dive back into that plate and, and start tasting things over. And I'm feeling confident right now, so I'm going to go from memory at this point. You got a handle on this? I tasted it this morning, chef. Yeah? You paid attention then, huh? Yes, yeah, chef, always. I feel like there was a lot of things thrown in here to make sure we were paying attention to detail. So I'm feeling like the first Benedict is for sure Canadian bacon, and the other one looks like prosciutto. Crafty veteran Ariel has decided that Chef Ramsay's Eggs Benedict dish has two different meats. And Brett, Heather, and Mia are all in agreement. While Rookie Motto has decided to use prosciutto on both Benedicts. You confident with making a hollandaise? I know how to make Eggs Benedict. I know I can recreate this easily. But the only thing that I'm not sure of in the sauce is the spice. It tastes like a traditional hollandaise but it's red. So I made a reduction with shallot and escalette powder. Motto is using red wine vinegar and shallots as Chef Ramsay's secret hollandaise ingredients. Ariel and Heather are both only using paprika. Yo, somebody got old chives? I got some more if you need them. Please. While Brett decides to go with chives. Four minutes, guys. Sorry, Chef. Chef. Holidays broke. Christ. I go to use my hollandaise, and it kind of looks like really thin cottage cheese. Oh my god, this is not happening. 15 seconds to go. Fuck. This is going downhill for me. My yolk broke, my hollandaise just broke. I have no idea what I've done to the food gods, but the karma they're giving me back is not nice. Finishing touches. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and plates. Well done. I hope that your palates served you well. Motto, please, slide down. Thank you. Motto's looks OK, but it definitely doesn't look the way that mine looks. Describe your dish, please. Um, eggs Benedict, not as good as yours, chef. <laughs> but I have the English muffin and the decrusted bread. What's the protein? I did prosciutto, chef. Mm -hmm. 
interesting. Then I have a shallot red wine vinegar reduction, hollandaise. Well, great. Mm. Thank you. Heather, uh, describe your dish. I have the English muffin, and I use Canadian bacon. What happened to your hollandaise and your poached eggs? Heather. I know, chef. Even if they're not exactly like Chef Ramsay's dish, if you can at least just put up a nicely poached egg and a nicely made hollandaise, then we have deeper issues here. Wow. I look at that dish and I don't feel that it's you. It's not. OK. Interesting indeed. I'm so over this fucking challenge today, it's not even funny. OK, Brent, come down, please. Fuck it now. What happened to Hollandaise? I, I fucked up royally on this one, chef. Well, I'm not going to eat that. Attempting to replicate an intricate Eggs Benedict dish. Oof, fuck it now. In today's Taste It Now Make It Challenge. What happened to Hollandaise? I, I fucked up royally on this one, Chef. Season 14 veteran Brett has presented Chef Ramsay with a disaster. Yes, my Hollandaise broke. Um, the protein is a Canadian bacon. I used um, English muffin. OK. What a shame, your Hollandaise. Thank you. Yes, yeah, Chef. I'm not going to win this challenge, but I'll never crack. I have to just bounce the fuck back. Ariel, slide down, please. Yes, sure. Visually, it looks beautiful. Thank you, Chef. Uh, really good indeed. Uh, describe your dish. So I did uh, sourdough muffin, Canadian ham, and then the hollandaise is a white wine lemon reduction with salt, paprika. Mmm. OK, thank you. Interesting. Mia, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My first job out of culinary school was at Bouchon doing breakfast and brunch. And I may have made, you know, 300 Benedicts in one day. I totally have this. So on the English muffin, I have Canadian bacon. Tell me about the base of the Hollandaise. How come it's looking so rich? Um, I did a reduction of white wine vinegar, shallot with espalette. Right. Um, wow. Thank you. Mm -hmm. OK, let's uh, break this down. For the Hollandaise, you cannot, Brett and Heather, serve a broken Hollandaise. Understood? Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. You two are out. We're wearing black jackets now. The game steps up, so Brett and Heather, you got to take this seriously. Where's that attention to detail? The rest of you, listen up. Two of you used Canadian bacon and prosciutto. One of you used only prosciutto. That motto was incorrect. That leaves Mia and Ariel. You both seasoned it completely different. Mia, you had the shallots. Yes, Chef. And Ariel, you said you seasoned yours with a hint of paprika. Yes, Chef. The winner of the Taste It Now Make It Challenge is... Both of you, congratulations. Yeah! <laughs> so, you both had the exact same number of ingredients correct. It feels amazing to win this challenge. This is one of the most coveted titles in Hell's Kitchen and an awesome way to start Black Jackets. I got to know, Chef, what is the, but, in that but, hollandaise? But, but listen, there was shallots in the reduction. Oh, there was? OK. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. However, there was paprika. OK. The fact that you got that depth and darkness in that hollandaise and you got the shallots in the hollandaise, uh, brilliant, let me tell you. I'm stoked. I always get to have fun because I keep on winning. <laughs> I do have a question for both of you. Are you afraid of heights? Um, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> have you ever been in a single engine plane with no door? Oh, oh Jesus. Me. <laughs> God. Have you ever been skydiving? <laughs> no. no. You just got really white, Ariel. <laughs> Well, today, both of you are going to iFly, the country's premier facility for oh. indoor skydiving. OK, I, that I can do, OK? <laughs> I just had a heart you attack. <sighs> OK. You are going to have a blast, both of you. Christina, what are you smiling at? <laughs> it sounds awesome. Would you like to go? Can you come Seriously? with us? I would love to, may I? Uh, yes, you can join us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Jockey? Oh, Jockey, come on. You want to go as well? Please, can I go too? Uh, OK. <laughs> Yes, you can. Yeah. Get out of here. Thank you, Chef. Thank girls. Great job. Thank you, Chef. Well done. Brett, Heather, motto. Yes, Chef. 
the three of you are going to be really miserable because today in Hell's Kitchen is dorm cleaning day. You'll be sweeping, dusting, cleaning, vacuuming, polishing the dorms. OK? I want those dorms spotless. Heard, okay. Chef. The chef. Cleaning supplies will be arriving shortly. Let's go. The chef. chef. Man. All right, well, it's not horrible. You're a mom. You probably clean the yeah. house every day. Plus, my son can't aim in the fucking toilet to save his life, so... Taste it now, make it. Eggs Benedict. Fuck, man, my holidays, man. Garbage. Yeah, mine broke right at the last minute. It was nice until I fucked with it again. First black jacket challenge in the books, and I feel like I'm letting myself down, and I hate that feeling. Out of the five people still here, I was a runner-up. I had my hand on that door. I know what it takes, and I need to just put my head down and cook my fucking heart out. That's what I need to do. We all beasts in the kitchen. That's why we're here still, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I say we execute a flawless dinner service and make it very hard for one of us to go home. You ready, Goose? Ready to go. Yes, we're going skydiving! <laughs> I like adrenaline. This kind of thing is fun. Let's do this. You look fabulous, Mia. Thank you. <laughs> Mia's like a fearless little firecracker. Oh my God. She looks so tiny in there. It's adorable. I just like having a good time. I feel like this kind of thing's really fun. And I'm just going up and down with the instructor. I was like, yes! Tunnel, thinking like, don't make a fool of yourself. Don't freak out. Act cool. It's gonna be okay. All I can feel is my stomach just like going into my chest, and I feel like I'm going to throw up. I might be able to eventually work my way up to jumping out of an airplane, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> it kind of looks like Chef Jockey has pigtails. I don't know how I'm going to take him seriously in the kitchen now when I think about how he looked today. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing, no? Cleaning the dorms. Da, 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 cleaning the dorms. Uh oh. Oh shit. I feel like I'm back at home cleaning up after my five year old son. People are gross. Ugh. Boom. Chef Brett. <laughs> <laughs> we on our hands and knees feel like Cinderella and shit. Scrubbing and wiping and dusting and yabba dabba doing. It's a big ass house to be cleaning. A one bedroom apartment and I still pay somebody to do it, yo. <laughs> there was so much shit pushed to the back of that refrigerator, it was disgusting. Really? They smelled so bad. A lot of fucking chia pudding. Well, we know who that is, Mia. Oh, yeah. Have you worked with her yet? Nope. In the kitchen? Nope. Let me tell you, she can bang solo. That's but what I keep hearing. Mia is very good as an independent chef. She can cook in a challenge flawlessly, but when she has to answer to anybody and she has to try to work as a team, she fails miserably. Her OCD will drive you up the fucking wall. For real, right? Coming up. You need to listen to me. I apologize. It may be the first dinner service as one team. There's two of you on there. You need to talk. Please do not talk to me. I'm not. But does one veteran chef. Hey, don't put your fucking head down like that. I told you start talking. Fucking do it. Have their own sneaky agenda. That's it. I 
I've been dying to ask you, what was it like when you got your black jacket? Black jacket? That was such a great night. First of all, uh, great service. Thanks, okay? Thank you, chef. Good job. There's no greater way to celebrate a unique service than putting on a black jacket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Congratulations. <laughs> But now you guys are down to one kitchen. You got to learn to work together. And the, the expectation has just jumped mm -hmm. from here to here. You've been in this position before. I have, but like I said, for some reason last time, I feel like I wasn't in it as much as I am now. Like yesterday when I was standing there, I was like, I, w I don't want just a black jacket. I want the first black jacket. Give it to me. I want the first yeah. one. Ariel is my biggest competition right now. I admire her, I think she's a great chef, and facing her in the finale and beating her would be unbelievable. This is something that, that I really, really want and that I feel like I can touch already. When the rookies were beating they us were left and right, ass. I was getting pissed. Yes. I was like, oh, so this is how this season's and then, gonna go. And then the rookies came to your team and you started winning. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I helped Mia throughout this whole competition, but uh, the mentorship program is over. I'm sorry. It's time for us to shine individually. As I say, nothing, you can't hide anything now. Like, no. everything's now exposed. So do we have a list of what we need? What else do we need besides black pepper, candy, pecans? We need dessert plates, I think. I got them right here. Okay. Canal spoons, did you find? Yeah, I got them. Okay. I pay attention, trust me. Coconut, yeah, coconut. It's already in. It's under in here. here. Okay. It's under here. Cool. Yeah. Okay. The fryer's on, right? 350? Yeah. Yep, yeah. everything's okay. on. And then maybe more chopped pecans, just plain chopped pecans. I don't know if that's enough. Just a little bit more. Mia, we are all in a black jacket. You are no better than anybody at this point. Pipe down. Heather, if you're just working on that right now, you want to lay out the carpaccio, I'll show you. I'm ready to fucking kill her. I am just not getting caught up in this whole too many chiefs tonight situation, or we're fucked. OK, Black Jackets, we ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Good. Can we get vocal? Straight, simple answers, yes, no. Communicate before the problem. The earlier you tell me, and the earlier we tell each other, the more we can do something about it. That's understood now, right? Yes, Chef. Let's go. Yes, Good luck. Chef. Thank you, chef. Mourinho. See you. Open house kitchen, please. Let's go. Show me the chef. It's the first time the final five are cooking out of one kitchen. You guys are good. You know what you're doing. You have everything you need. Yes, yes chef. chef. And with the pressure at an all-time high. You good over there, Heather? Yeah, I'm good. Fucking do it. The Hell's Kitchen dining room is the place to be. Thank you so much. As veterans and rookies in the kitchen. Yeah, he's a drill sergeant. He doesn't play any game. It's cool. Are determined to give the diners and Chef Ramsay a night to remember. This is crazy, man. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Welcome to Hell. Oh, yeah. He's just said, wake up. Because I see Octo Barnes. I'm on the four cover table 22. Two octopus, one risotto, one scallops. Yes, Chef. Yeah. Go. Mato, I'm going to need help. What you want me to work? Can you spread those out a little bit? I got to get this pork on. Yeah. Brett and I are working the meat station together. So I'm the extra person tonight, essentially. OK, pork, two octopus, scallop. Two octopus, I got a scallop, yeah. It's going with a rizzo. Heather, we just started service. Why do you need help already? Two octopus, one scallop, one risotto straight after, yes? Heather, you have scallops dropped? Heather. Heather, where are you? Guys, I need another three and a half minutes on this risotto, please. Heather, listen. What? Heather, I need three minutes on my risotto, coming with two scallops. Heather. Heather? What? I got your scallops. Hurt. Two ops, plus one scallops, one risotto. How long? I need three minutes, chef. Three minutes, thank you. Shit. Damn, Right behind you. Where's the risotto? Next one is two and a half minutes, Chef. One risotto, one scallop, two octopus. And I've got the scallops. Why do we have that up, guys? I said I needed three minutes. Yes, you did. I apologize. Hey, hello, fish. Anyone yes. in there? Yes, Chef. Heather, I need you to run your station. Hurt. Hurt, okay? Chef. I apologize. 
I apologize, chef. I apologize. Like, how about you don't do shit to be sorry for? Heather, who do you need to talk to? I need to talk to Ariel. Me. You need to listen to me. I didn't know why he was going up with them. I apologize. So do we hold or we start again? Yeah, we start again. Start again. Yeah, I'm not serving One again. scallop now, Fucking followed by hell. two more scallops. How long do you need now for that? I need another two minutes now, guys. Drop scallops Her. on the refire. Drop them. Yes. The title at stake is executive chef, but right now, Heather's acting like a line cook who doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. Where are you at on the scallops, Heather? You ready? I'm walking this risotto, Heather. All right. Here, here, garnish. Yup, yup, go, 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 go. Scallops up. Chef, go in your right. Heather. Yes, chef. Nicely cooked. Heard, chef, yes. As Heather has now regained control of the you fish now? station. Very nice. A rush of appetizers heads out to the dining room. Good. Very nice, that carbonara. You know where you're going, John? Yes, table one. Thank you. This is so nice. to try this. And the black jackets are ready to move on to entrees. So our first entree are three New York strip, one halibut. Yes, chef. Right, chef. Three New York. Three, right? I got them. Meat's a beast of the station, and I'm a beast of a motherfucker. So I'm going to take this meat station, I'm going to manhandle this shit. How long, Brett? Me at two minutes to the window. Walk in and walk. Garnish. You got to give me at least two. How long, garnish New York halibut, please? I can run right now. I just told you I need two minutes in the oven for the halibut. Please listen to me. Hello? Somebody talk to fish, because I need to fucking get in on this, too. Guys, I just want garnish for three New York. Walking New Yorks. Let me help you. I got it. I got it. Right behind halibut. Chef. I'm walking garnish for one halibut. You got to give me 30 seconds to get in the oven and check. Hold on. I'm being made to look like a fucking imbecile right now because I'm trying to rush the protein that I'm not even ready on because there is no communication. Go, 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 yes. Guys, walking halibut. Chef, where would you like it? Right here? It's really hot. Finish halibut, please. Yep. Nice and cooked. Thank you, Chef. The slicing meat. Brent, two cooked beautifully, one fucking rare. Here we go. Back in the pack. Absolutely, Chef. Let me help oh. you, man. I got you. Come on. Brett's focused and in his little zone and trying to own the meat station. But if Brett can just be a little bit more vocal as to what help he needs, then I can get in there and help him find a rhythm. Now, Brett, how's that station getting organized? I, I mean, yeah. there's two of you on there. Yes, Chef. You need to talk. Yes, Chef. When you talk, we're on the same page. When you shut down, we're fucked. Your chef. So, hey, don't put your fucking head down like that. He's getting after him right now. I told you start talking. Fucking do it. It's 30 minutes into the first Black Jacket dinner service. Brett, how's that station getting organized? I, I mean... And Brett's lack of communication on the meat station... When you talk, we're on the same page. When you shut down, we're fucked. ...is slowing the kitchen to a standstill. I told you start talking. Fucking do it. It's all good. I'm here for you, bro. No, no, I know that. I'm sorry. Before you were slightly I'm undercooked, bro. Come on, now. Slow down, man. We got to get this right. Refire strip, chef. Thank you. Very nice. Yes, chef. Sauce. They're not talking again to each other. Young man. Yes, Talk to Mono. Heard. Stop trying to do it on your own. Heard. Mono, get this peppercorn sauce, please, going. Got you, got you. Heard. Brett. Yes, chef. You need to talk. Yes, chef. I want the sauce when the steaks arrive. Yes, chef. Not two minutes fucking later. Yes, chef. I'm going to scream at the top of my lungs so Chef Ramsay does hear me. An order, six covers, table 30. L.A. Rams. Entree, two salmon, two lamb, two New York strip. Yes, chef. Lamb off. I need six, six minutes, minutes, please. Yes, yes, chef. Yes, chef. Mia, five minutes for the next two lamb, two New York. Huh? Mia, give me a garnish. Garnish for what? Mia, come on, garnish, please. She flustered as fuck, man, like a deer in headlights. And she's like, two salmon, two lamb, two York strip. We're what, five? Yes, chef. Mia's going in four to the window, yeah? I'm looking right in her fucking eyes. And she's, uh... Mia, garnish right now, please, in a minute. Mia. Do you, Mia? Two salmon, two lamb, two New York. Heard. You heard me, Mia? Two lamb, two New York. With the two salmon, yeah? No. That's what's selling first, Mia. Got salmon, it. Got it, got it. Salmon garnish, how long? Walking salmon garnish right now. Where's the salmon? Right here. Here. 
Yeah, drop it in between. Down. Go. Salmon garnish is up, guys. How long am salmon? Heather, are you ready? Yes. Right behind Chef 2 Lamb to New York. Salmon! I'm coming, Chef! 30 yes. seconds! I've sliced the lamb. I'm dragging the New York strip. Fuck. Oh shit, Heather. I know, I know. Oh, we gotta refire those. That skin is fucked. It got stuck to the pan. It must have been cold or something, Heather. But you can't put it into a cold pan. That's a big no-no. No, no. We need to refire salmon. All right, can somebody help me? I need to refire salmon. Oh, shit. Motto, do you have 30 to help me out, bro? Yes. Where's the salmon? The skin came off. I'm not serving it that way, chef. Mourinho, come in here, please. Explain to Mourinho. Finally, a good excuse to apologize. Go, Heather, you're really good at this. Go, 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 do it. Mourinho, I apologize, I need to refire. Good job, Heather. Now get it in the oven. Yes, chef. At this point, you know, I just want to finish a dinner service so badly. It doesn't matter what I have to do to do it. How long, please, two salmons? Should be good right here. They're good. Two salmon garnish right away, please. I can run, I can run. Hot garnish. All right. Now, who cooked this salmon here? Who cooked the salmon, please? I did. I don't know. Nicely cooked. I got you. Finally, the fish has been sold. Like, fuck's sake, man. That took long enough, huh? Grazie. Thank you. I'm happy whoever made it made it good because I kind of felt bad for them because I got yelled at for a while. <laughs> all right, I need it all day on this station to know where the hell we're at. Next is four halibut. All right. Four halibut? All right. You have six halibut and you have the two salmon. Huh? The two salmon are fired. You got shrimp? Two salmon, three, two salmon, three halibut. Two salmon, two New York. Halibut, three salmon, halibut, New York. You got three salmon, one, two New York, one halibut, garnish walking. One salmon, one halibut. You have six all day on the board. There's two at a time. I'm oh, gonna double check me it. different orders, y'all. I'm trying to help Heather. It's super frustrating. It's definitely a jumble of numbers everywhere. If I can just get a firm answer, then please, I can cook this fish. Six halibut all day, right? Four, I apologize. Four of what? How many salmon all day? Four. Two. Two all day in my oven. Four halibut all day. Oh, no. Oh, no. Followed by four more, yeah? No. Two and two. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, Paul, shut the fuck up. For the first time, the veterans and rookies are cooking out of one kitchen. All right, I need it all day on this station. And with Motto now taking over the fish station from Heather. You have six halibut and two salmon. Two salmon, three halibut. They're giving me different orders, y'all. Four, I apologize. Followed by four more, yeah? The rest of the team is having a difficult time getting their numbers straight. Hey, two hey, and hey, two. hey, oh, oh, shut the fuck up. How dare you? Sorry. We're doing two, two halibut followed yeah. by two, two halibut. halibut. Yeah. Do not give me fucking four. No, Chef, no, I only have two. Yeah, yeah, all fucking days. Sorry, hey, chef. young man, hey, standards. Just stick to one fucking four top at a time. Yes, Chef. Hurt? Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. Two followed two by more. two, please. Six minutes. This halibut. I got this in four. Heard four minutes. Please do not talk to me. I'm not. Thank you. I four minutes on these halibut. Sorry about that, Chef. Yeah, I just want everybody to shut the fuck up for just one second. Let me cook the fish, you know? I was going to bring them at the same time, Chef. Coming down. Back. Sauce for both, Chef. Well, you can cook honey. Yeah. With Motto stepping up, entrees are successfully coming out of the fish station. Please let me know when I can slice lobster Wellington's going with two halibuts, please. First table, followed by four salmons behind. And the chefs push to complete their first service in black jackets. Running halibut garnish. Service, please. Lobster, coming in. We need to stay connected. Lovely. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We've got one more ticket. This is the last one, chef. Oh, fucking hell. This lamb is some of the very best lamb I've ever had. Five desserts, 22. Let's go. Clear down, Christina. Line up, please. We got off to a great start. We just couldn't maintain it. I want all of you to head back to the dorm and decide which two people should be put up for elimination. Understood? Yes, yes chef. chef. Piss off. 
I feel like uh, tonight's overall dinner service, the worst performer was uh, Mia. I feel like she doesn't have what it takes to be that gangster, leader, beast mode, executive chef. I just don't feel that she has it in her. I know who my, my votes are is Heather and Mia. I go y'all two. I'm voting Motto, because he was lost. And Heather? Jesus Christ. This is who that, I'm voting for. OK, that's why I stopped talking. Don't fucking attack me, dude. There's absolutely no fucking way I should go home tonight. Yes, I fucked up because I was put in a predicament that I couldn't fucking get out of because my team failed me. My team failed me. I'm going to go with Brett and Mia. Huh? Nothing died on me. Are you fucking kidding me? When I had two New Yorks come under, real quick fix, that's it. It's definitely not me. That's absolutely, absolutely irrelevant in my opinion. And Motto, who are you voting for? <sighs> Heather. And, uh, I guess I'm gonna go Mia. I was getting different numbers shouted at me at the same time, so I couldn't get anywhere with that. So I apologize for that. OK. I got to go in. It's cold out here. Yeah, that's what it is, man. This is all business right here. Ain't shit personal. This is business, you know what I'm saying? I'm pissed. I don't think I should be going up for elimination. Brett's looking out for himself, and he's saying anything that'll keep him in the competition. Just FYI, Brett, I think it's bullshit that you guys aren't nominating each other, because I feel like you guys are trying to cover for each other's ass. Absolutely not. I should be nominated. Tell me why. Because you had two stakes sent back. OK. And, Wrong. OK. Uh, all right, undercooked, 60 mm -hmm. second refire. OK. OK. But what did I have sent back? When yeah, was you I were dragging? Like a deer in headlights. Forget my facial expression, forget my hands. Mia, I saw you like this in your pan. I, I watched you, and mm -hmm. you're like. Forget my, forget the movements that I'm doing. When did I stop talking if I to don't, you? First of all, I don't need to cover for anybody. I would But not. I feel like it's bullshit because I didn't have shit sent back. I sent everything. I sent everything and I was ready for every ticket. Are you are you trying to intimidate me by raising your voice? I'm just asking. No. You feel like you get no. your point across better? No. Oh, okay, cool. It doesn't matter. Am I intimidating you? Of course not. Then what does it matter if, if I raise my voice or not? I'm just wondering if you feel like you need to raise your voice because okay. does that make you feel better about yourself? No. Okay. Just I don't wondering. give a shit. Okay, I can cool. talk however the fuck I want. Of course you can. Okay. Okay, you do great in challenges, but you can't burn on the line. Yeah, I fucking can't. What a night. Not good. Black Jacket team, have you reached a consensus? Yes, Chef. Ariel, first nominee and why? First nominee tonight is Heather Chef. The fish station was struggling with cookery and with communication. The second nominee. Second nominee tonight is Mia on the garnish station. Mia. Heather, Mia, step forward. OK. Heather. Yes, Chef. Tough nights. Very tough, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I haven't given up. I have the passion, the drive, the determination. I don't shut down. I know I'm better than this, and I know I'm worth winning this competition. During dinner service, I had no communication, you know, with certain team members. Mia, just say the name. Yeah, you know, I have Mia and Brett communicating in front of me, and I literally have to scream at Brett. But that... you're standing right next to me. You're hearing everything I'm saying. I shouldn't have to scream across a brigade because you two are, like, connected, and I'm just standing there like a fucking lost dog. But you were also doing the callbacks to Chef, and you didn't have the protein that he was asking you for. Right, and that's where I had asked you all day so I can have the protein ready, the... and you couldn't do that but because the... you had a hard time reheating vegetables. No, so I had good. everything on the pass when they needed it. And nothing got sent so... back. Mia, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? And what the fuck happened tonight? I did the best I could under the circumstances. And I feel like I delivered in my station. Uh... I wasn't doing callbacks. Say a, it, yes or no? A few times. Uh, a couple times, yeah. A couple I feel times. Like, beginning, yes. No, couple I feel times. like I was always doing callbacks. You would tell me the garnish you needed. I would say, OK, I would repeat it, and I would have it ready. I always had my garnish ready. Motto. Based on everything you saw tonight and during the course of the competition, who should go home? Um, tonight, I think Heather struggled the most on the fish station. So in my opinion, Heather was the weaker performer. Brett, based on overall, me a chef. She does good in challenges, from what I've heard from her former teammates, that when it comes to time to dinner service, she can't get it in like everybody else. Ariel, 
In terms of culinary skill and overall, unfortunately, I would have to say the person who should go home would be Heather Chef. My decision is... Heather. You are not ready to be my executive chef. Give me a jacket, please. Thank you. Thank you for the callback. <sighs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Say hi to Logan. I will, thank you. I never thought I'd be leaving without the executive chef position. I came out guns blazing, and I was ready to prove a point. <laughs> I was a runner-up of season 16. The door is mine this time, guys. Heather, five out of five. Good job. <laughs> Coming back to Hell's Kitchen a second time, it mentally challenges you. Here you go. You can walk that. Please would be nice, right? Yeah. Fuck off, man. I'm the one who's got to stand there in embarrassment. Get out! Yeah. I can run right now. I just told you I need two minutes in the oven for the hell of it. Please listen to me. At the end of the day, I need to show my son that you need to be the one to drive your self-esteem and your confidence. You thought it was the edge of me! Don't look so fucking happy. Uh... Without a doubt, missing my son, it broke me. I thought I was indestructible, but at the end of the day, I just want my kid. <laughs> you are the final four. You've got to push every single second in that kitchen. Is that understood? Yes, yes chef. chef. Get out of here. They think I'm gonna let them walk all over me. They're fucking wrong, all of them. They can kiss my ass. I'm here to fucking win. Final four, yeah. Final four, yeah. I'm at a 25% chance to win this competition. I'll take those odds any day. I've been waiting years for this moment. I think my performance has been great. I worked very hard tonight, and I'm motivated unlike I've ever been motivated before. This is. This is it. it. It's all in right now. Too many times, Heather blamed her mistakes on having a bad day. I'm not looking for apologies. I'm looking for an executive chef. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Mia, between us, have you had a little tequila this morning? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when it comes to booze, I'm a pro. Will one chef have a little too much fun? Well, you have a shot glass right there, and she I does. have some tequila right here. <laughs> I'm Puerto Rican. This is what we do. <laughs> Will her naughty behavior rub off on the others? Woo! <laughs> and when things take a serious turn. Oh, my god. Holy fucking curveball. Will even Chef Ramsay be left speechless? Uh, this is bad. <laughs> it's all next time. Oh, hell no. On an intoxicating episode uh. of Hell's Kitchen.